In this video, I'll show you how I use my kit lens and one light to create some fun studio portraits. Adorama TV presents The Breakdown with Miguel Quiles. Welcome back, I'm Miguel Quiles. One of the big misconceptions in photography is that you need several thousands of dollars in gear to create good images, and it's simply not true. It's entirely possible to capture brilliant images, even with a kit lens, for around $1,500 or less for everything. Let me break down my setup to give you an idea. For my camera and lens, I'm using the Sony a6000 with their 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. It's a 24 megapixel crop sensor camera with excellent image quality and fast autofocusing. For my lighting, I'm keeping it simple with one Photix Metros Plus that I'll be firing at about a quarter power. Keeping the settings low will allow a faster flash recycle time to keep the shoot running smoothly. To make the light source large and soft, I place the flash inside of a Photix Luna folding softbox mounted on their speed mount. I'll be triggering the flash using the Photix Air's trigger and receiver combo. Now, let's talk about the rest of the equipment. I have my flash and modifier on a Kupo 7-foot light stand placed around 3 to 4 feet from my model. To create a nice contrast with her blonde hair, I chose a bold color for the background called Crimson Red made by Savage. I have it suspended on an Avenger C stand about a foot away from the model. With everything in place, it's time to start shooting. Having the light modifier pointed straight at the backdrop gives a beautiful light quality that lights both the model and the background. Because the small flash is being diffused by the softbox, it gives the model's skin a beautiful soft glow. I'm sure you're curious to see how these are coming out, so let's take a look. I shot these first few images at f6.3, 1 1 25th of a second at ISO 200. These settings allow me to keep my flash steadily at a quarter power. I changed my settings for the last couple of shots to f8, 1 1 25th of a second, ISO 100, which added more contrast to the model and background. I hope you learned some new techniques today. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV to stay up to date on new content. Also, don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center for lots of helpful articles. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of The Breakdown. Bye, everyone.